This is Kelso Surgeon. Thank you very much for joining me for my uh, weekend session at my College of Advanced Football Handicapping. Started off the week in dynamite fashion uh, Thursday night. Went 3-0. and uh, Highlight of the night was a 50-unit play uh, for my personal best club on Virginia Tech plus the 6.5 uh, or 7 over uh, Georgia. Uh, Virginia Tech won the game straight up. And by the way, you know, that, uh, that selection was based on a couple of really uh, strong factors. Number one is the, is the great defense that both these teams played and the fact that uh, if you have two teams coming together uh, and uh, you let's say you're not quite sure how good they are or they are not, uh, but they're both playing outstanding defense and one is a seven-point favorite, it's not an automatic to take the seven, but it's something that certainly needs to get heavy consideration. Uh, I took uh, a chairman's club play, 25 units on the uh, San Francisco 49ers uh, over the uh, St. Louis Rams, got all the money there uh, in blowout fashion. Uh, I just didn't believe that the uh, 49ers were as helpless as they, uh, as they looked and uh, in those two blowout losses to Seattle and then to uh, uh, the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, also didn't like the fact that when, you know, St. Louis opened up the season with a narrow win over Arizona, played very, very well in their next game, and then fell off the edge of the world uh, in the third game of the season, and I said to myself that something doesn't look right here, and I truly felt if uh, San Francisco showed up and played this game, it would just run all over uh, the Rams and, and walk away with it, and uh, they certainly did, and if you watched the game, you heard, <coughs> heard the boo birds in uh, in St. Louis, really getting on uh, quarterback uh, Sam Bradford and the play calling of uh, of the coaching staff. I don't know what it all means. I think St. Louis is better than that, but uh, uh, than they showed in that game. But I mean, now I'm not even sure. They just looked absolutely dreadful. And then got the cash for my best bets club uh, members with a five unit play on underdog Iowa State, uh, which knocked off Tulsa, uh, 38 to 21. Uh, the reason I, I took Iowa State is something which maybe is overlooked by a lot of people. I felt that the two teams were equal in their ability to win the ball game. Uh, that made getting the three uh, uh, very important as far as Iowa State goes. But Iowa State is a very physical football team. Tulsa is not. Physical football teams beat up teams that are not physical, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, Iowa State really dominated that game, and were just uh, they just out physical to Tulsa. Tulsa needs to pick it up a little bit, uh, uh, or this could be a, a lost season. Now tonight, Friday, uh, going with a 15-unit play on the nationally televised ESPN game that finds Utah State at. Uh, 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 San Jose State. The number is Utah State minus nine and a half. Both these teams are better than their uh, records uh, imply and uh, I am taking a 15 unit stand and uh, in my mind a very strong stand on this game. You can get that game as you can all games and service it on this website and toll free at 1-800-755-2255. Now you know uh, Saturday's a big day for me. It's uh, uh, I'm releasing uh, another 100-unit college uh, game of the week, uh, and I'm I just absolutely confident that uh, the team I'm releasing on Saturday will get the money. You do not want to miss this game. Uh, I handicapped it for about two hours last night, and uh, everything led to a giant blowout win. So Saturday, my 100-unit uh, uh, a college game of the week, also a 50-unit play on a night game, a chairman's club play. Uh, my uh, best bets club, uh, three games, 15 units, 10 units, and 5 units. And then I put together a special uh, TV marquee package uh, that I think everybody's interested in. Uh, you can get it for just $25. LSU at Georgia. Uh, Georgia's a three-point favorite. Uh, the game is in the afternoon on ABC. We have Oklahoma at Notre Dame. Uh, Oklahoma is a three and a half point favorite. This one's on NBC. It's an afternoon game. And then at, at night we have Wisconsin at Ohio State. Uh, Ohio State's a minus seven. This game uh, is also on ABC. Now let's talk a little bit about each of these uh, uh, marquee games. And once again, you can get all three. They're all 10 unit plays. You can get them all for just uh, $25 in a package. You know, <clears throat> We've got a situation here where Georgia has won 14 straight games at home, played a much tougher schedule than has LSU, uh, knocked off uh, 
uh, uh, our, top, uh, our top 10 team, South Carolina, in this last home game, has won 14 straight at home uh, and uh, has a very strong uh, home field bias in Athens, to say the least. Uh, interesting note, uh, I don't know, you know what it all means, but, you know, LSU has won 29 games, 29 straight games in September, dating back to the 206 season. You'll have to figure that one out, but I thought that was an interesting... Uh, uh, an interesting number. Now we have Oklahoma at Notre Dame and many would consider this to be a giant revenge game for the Sooners and maybe it will be. You know, uh, this game, uh, when these teams played last year in Norman, the game was tied 13-13 to uh, with uh, just five minutes to go. Notre Dame just exploded and scored 17 points and won the ball game 30-13 uh, to 13, uh, and I guarantee you that the people who watched this game in Norman, the Oklahoma fans and even the Notre Dame fans, were really stunned. Now Notre Dame uh, is going for uh, its 11th straight home win, a very strong home bias in, in South Bend, and it's interesting that the Irish are 27-4-1 all-time against teams from the Big 12. Now that Wisconsin matchup uh, uh, at Ohio State, you know, Ohio State goes for its 17th straight win tonight, and, and believe me, what I'm saying about the game is not to uh, reflect uh, negatively on either one of these teams. I truly believe this is a matchup between two of the coaching geniuses of, uh, of college football. Uh, Gary Anderson uh, uh, is uh, not as well known as Urban Meyer is at, uh, at uh, uh, Ohio State, but Anderson built uh, Utah State into a national power over a very short period of time. He's an absolute genius at analyzing how uh, he has to go about beating an opponent. So that uh, the seven in this game is a big number, uh, but uh, you know you can't knock sixteen and zero, and you wonder if Wisconsin can uh, can do it. Keep in mind last season that Ohio State had to score a late touchdown uh, to keep this game from going into overtime. Another game of interest is Mississippi at Alabama. Uh, Mississippi is a, I mean Alabama is a fifteen point favorite. Very interesting fact in here. Mississippi is 0-9 all-time against teams ranked in the top 10 or a defending national... Uh, 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 no, I got that all wrong. Let me back up here. This Ole Miss is 0-9 all-time against top-ranked teams and 1-12 and against defending national champions. Just something to think about. Now, uh, kind of a, an oddball thought for the week. You know, we have... Uh, uh, New Mexico State uh, battling uh, uh, at the bottom of the 125 NCAA teams. Uh, absolutely terrible. Uh, giving up 50 points and 605 yards a game in offense. Uh, 16.5 point underdog, uh, home underdog to San Diego State. And the school president at New Mexico State has decided that he's going to give cash incentives to get students to come to the the game. I don't know how it all breaks down, but you know, it's a sad state of affairs if you're a guy who has to uh, uh, pay students to come watch your team play. I don't know whose fault it is that New Mexico State is so bad. Maybe it's just impossible to get uh, people to go to Las Cruces, New Mexico. I don't know. But I've always said if you can get them to go to Manhattan, Kansas, which Bill Snyder has done, you certainly can get them to go anywhere. Uh, maybe even in the middle of the Sahara Desert. That's no excuse. Somebody needs to take this program uh, 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 by the bootstraps and uh, get serious about playing football or give it up. I mean, when you've got to play, pay your uh, uh, students to come watch the team play, there's something dra dramatically wrong with that. Once again, let's run down the weekend. Uh, on Saturday, uh, highlighted by my 100-unit uh, college football game of the week, a 50-unit play Saturday night on the team. I think will win in blowout fashion. Uh, Three-game package for my best bet club players. Uh, that special three-team uh, TV marquee package uh, of uh, the best games on the uh, schedule for the day. All those games eventually uh, are available on this website and toll-free at 1-800-755-2255. Coming back on uh, uh, a Sunday with another big, uh, a big weekend uh, of NFL football. Uh, highlight of the day, my 100-unit NFL uh, game of the week. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate uh, uh, your interest and your attention, and I'll be back here on Monday uh, with my next report. Once again, thank you and good luck.